Once there was a girl. She was a drug addict. My name is Roquette. 23 years old. Was kicked out of bed and home the moment I turned 18. I got by for a while, clinging to overzealous boys with a deep pocket to fight off their own loneliness. But my need for rocks and apparent desperate demeanor led to them throwing me out like trash. Moving on to supposed greener fields, pretending like they're not going to ugly fuck girls other than the ones they're dating. And they call me trash. I've come to get by in the shitholes of society. The abandoned, the rotten, the decayed. And life's been good. I got hooked up with a clocker by the name of Auntie G. She provided the rocks, and I... Well... I did what I had to do. Fuck! Mother fuck this spoon! Fuck it right into Catilla's and Pezzle asshole! There. Easy now. Easy. My last ghost. Motherfuck of shit! I'm going to have to see Auntie G again, aren't I? Auntie G is still pumping, right? I don't wanna go see that gutter slut unless I really have to. But I really don't want to go back to the crack in a box again. I'm not going back to being a buffer again. Never again. Fine! I'm desperate! How ghosty, Auntie G! <laughs> Look at me go. I'm such a chaser now. I don't have much to offer. But I'm desperate. I'll visit Auntie G and see what I can do for some pebbles. After Auntie G's apartment I go.
amazing. Where am I? Where the fuck did my clothes go? I'm stark naked. I better find a way out of here before I freeze my bare ass off. me and threw me in the freezer anyway. Whatever. Time to get dressed. You know, maybe I just want to stay completely nude. Maybe I like freezing my ass off. Still naked. Everything is out and about. Do I really want to go face the world completely exposed? Um, why am I walking around naked? 
I should go back and change. Am I seriously considering going through these apartments to see Auntie Jean the nude? What? Am I going to strut my stuff for some extra rock? I'd rather not flush any dirty hobos that may be around, thank you very much. Am I seriously cons- What? Am I-
I was beaten and abused, humiliated. I couldn't pay up anymore, so I was no longer of any use to Auntie G. I don't know why I expected otherwise. In the end, no one gives a rat's ass about the homeless. We are killed or swept up in the night for whatever ends anyone who bothers me, please. I had done a lot for Auntie G. No, that's a lie. I had done a lot for my next fix. I couldn't give a fuck who gave it to me. But for every drug exchange, I traded something I began to have less and less of. More than just money. I had given up my own humanity. Myself. Somewhere along the way, I had crossed a line. I had stopped caring about almost anything. That's not true either. I just didn't want to feel. I just didn't want to be myself anymore. I was left in complete darkness for days. I don't know. Maybe it was a bit longer or shorter than that. I wasn't given anything to eat or drink, so all I did was sleep. I slept and I slept. I'd wake up and my mouth would be dry, but there wasn't anything to drink. I began to go into relapse. I was in constant pain. I became cold, shaking and sweating. A mess of spasms, pains, and cravings. I guess I hadn't had a fix in a while, huh? One day, light seeped into the room. I felt a cold and hard chain as it was shackled to my ankle. The chain was pulled with great force, dragging me out across the floor, but I didn't put up much of a fight. Was I being trafficked? This is my life now, huh? When you lack power in this world, you lack options. I waited for the inevitable. But as time went on, we weren't moved anywhere, nor did anyone come in. Still, no one was allowed to leave. We were just left to idle. What was their game here? Are you happy? No, I'm not. I can make you happy. I don't know if I want to be happy. to be happy. I don't know if I do. You do. You just won't let yourself. I'll make you happy. I'll let myself in. Happiness is what all humans want. And we will be happy together. We will. I began to change, and I was happy.
Yeah.